The Encanto Cosita. That is what we are making today. Look at all those colors. Let me show you how I did it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Abuela Madrigal. What is her real name? I think it's Barbara. Hi everyone, my name is Barbara Madrigal. No, probably not. And today we are making the Encanto Cosita out of buttercream. How do I feel about this cake? We'll save that till the end so that I don't undersell this. <laughs> I love Encanto a lot. And after watching it, I knew I wanted to attempt this house. And it would be my first like architecture cake with buttercream. I've never done it before, so this was a perfect opportunity. Oh man, I, it started off on a high and then it just uh, was such a struggle to finish. Well, let me show you the process. Now to create this cake, I'm starting with a bunch of layers that I created in my 11 by 7 inch rectangular cake pan. Um, I decided to go with the color scheme of Maribel's dress. So we've got a blue, we've got turquoise, yellow, purple, and then pink on top. Now I'm gonna give this a quick crumb coat with all of the leftover buttercream I had on the sides. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, let it set, and then I'm going to start carving the front of my cosita. Wait for the reveal, and voila, look at that. That looks spectacular. Oh my gosh, I had to cut away so much cake. I didn't, I should have planned this out better, but you know what I didn't? I just had to deal with all these cake scraps. Now after I cut out all three levels, I added slopes to the front so that I could account for all of the roofs. Then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat, put it in the fridge, and then I started to add all of the buttercream to create the walls of the casita. So we've got beige, a little bit of pink, some purple, and green to go on the top. Now this is probably like five seconds of work to you, but it was actually like maybe four or five hours. I had to put this in the fridge several times to allow the buttercream to set up so that I could get a smooth texture. I added a little bit of piping detail with a piping bag to create some cobblestones. Then it was time for fondant. So I'm adding fondant pieces to create the windows. I used a little bit of blue buttercream to create the door and then I added more fondant pieces to create the balconies railing and the archway at the front. Once all of that was put on, it was time to add some more piping detail. I just used a piping bag to give my fondant and the rest of my house more detail. I piped detail onto the top of the balconies, onto all of the windows, and then started to add the trim and some of the roofs. Once I was happy with all of those details, I finished all of my roofs. And finally, it was time to add a little bit of plants. So I added the bungobilia, the bungobilia, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> to the front of the house. I also added the flowers on Isabella's balcony. There's a ton. That whole tower is like overwhelmed by flowers. But it's so beautiful. Now to complete the back of my cake, I made the Encanto logo. So I started with like this midnight turquoise, that's what I was calling it the entire time I was applying it. I added some lighter spackle detail and then I added the Encanto letters that I shaped out of fondant. Just placed them on, finished it with some yellow piping detail and voila, my Encanto cosita was complete. What do you think? I have so many problems with this cake. <laughs> now if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, then you know that this is not my favorite Encanto cake. And my biggest problem with this was that I didn't have time to really finish this. I was procrastinating so much because I didn't like the way the details were turning out. And the following week, I was starting my turning red content and all of my Moon Knight stuff. And so I kind of just rushed everything. And you can totally tell with the roof that I just didn't care. <laughs> so it looks okay, um, and it looks better from afar. If you get too close to this cake, then you see all the crappy details, but from afar, if you up the saturation on the camera and you just look at all the beautiful colors and the general shape, it's fine, it looks good. Oh my God, don't get too close. Now on TikTok, when I showed you progress shots of this cake, you told me to trust the process. And you were totally right. Even though the final product isn't exactly what I wanted, when I added all of the details, it looked like 10 times better. So the process really helped. And next time I'll try not to lose faith. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope I gave you some great ideas for Encanto Cakes. 
Let me know your cake ideas in the comments and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Mirabelle skirt was the color scheme I picked for my Encanto Cosita cake. Each layer is 11 by 7 and a different color featured on Mirabelle's skirt. She's on the front door of the Cosita so I'm pretty sure she's going to be the next abuela. So I wanted to incorporate her in a big way. And you know what? Also, can we just acknowledge that she needs to move out of the nursery? I mean, all of the other family members have rooms that are larger than most <laughs> houses in LA. But Mirabelle's still like sleeping in a closet. And I love that neither of her sisters offer to share their rooms with her. They're like, nah, you're not special. You get to sleep in the shack. This is your life for the rest of your life. <laughs> That's terrible. I wasted a lot of cake building this. I should have planned it better. I wanted each layer of the house to be a different color and I didn't realize that when I carved this cake, I'd be throwing so much of it away. If I had used the same color throughout the house, I could have reused so many layers of cake scraps, but I didn't. And it looks fabulous, but at what cost? I kind of gave up on this cake. So when it came to creating the back, I thought that I would just do something simple and be done with it. So I covered the back in a midnight turquoise, added fondant and canto letters, and it turned out to be my favorite part of this cake. I love the colors. I loved how polished it looks and it's just simple and beautiful. This cake was just a bunch of highs and lows. Very, very disappointing lows. Adding buttercreams to create the walls of Cosita was a high. And I thought it was going to turn out well. But when I started adding all the tiny buttercream details and I realized that even my smallest piping tip wouldn't give me the polished results I wanted. Oh gosh, I wanted to throw it away. But I was already sharing like my process with you guys on TikTok. So I couldn't just have part one and two and not three and four. But it just wasn't up to my standards, especially Especially when you compare it to all of my other Encanto cakes. It just looks so messy. I mean, on camera, if you turn up the saturation and you just don't add too many close-ups, it looks fine. But when you remove all of that, you can see all my mistakes. 